I know it. It's like, it's like, it's like a man. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most resourceful show on the internet. My name is Riley as always with my crafty co-host, Graydon. <laughs> and welcome to episode six of Hive Mind Jeopardy. Two boards of trivia and a final Hive Mind Jeopardy question. Me versus Graydon versus you. Game time, Gabe Davis. He's a free agent. Played for the Bills. Yeah, he's a member. Yeah, Patreon member. Well, I guess it could have been somebody just saying that, but... Yeah, uh, game time, Gabe Davis. Oh, awesome. Hi, Gabe. Josh Allen's second favorite target. Yeah. Before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a brand new restock of our Copes drop. It's available right now. It's on the screen. Link in description for that, along with our Patreon and our Cameo. If you'd like to support us or click the Join button, the Join button here on YouTube and become a member. Thank you, members. Also, our tour is coming up, and a lot of the dates are selling out, so Get your tickets now if you want to come see us on tour. We start March 12th. I am freaking out about that, man. We'll see you there. Uh, yeah. God, selling out? Yeah. I didn't know that. A lot of the shows are sold out. And it's not like a 50 cent type situation? I don't think so. Oh. People are going to be there. Okay. Packed seats. Good. And lastly, we also have short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels, as well as our brand new channel, Hive Mind Limited. Subscribe to that. But without further ado, <laughs> buzzers out. Let's play Jeopardy. Let's go. Today I'm cosplaying as a middle school teacher from Salem, Massachusetts, and I'm just happy to be here, Ken. <laughs> I think um, Grant would be Ken. Why would I be Ken? You're my Ken. I'm Knuff. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and as always, DJ Grant is mic'd up, ready to tell you the categories for the first round. Today's categories are the following. Cities. Every answer for this category is a city with two T's in its name. I've seen that before. Given the name of a show's spinoff, name the original. Rap math. You'll be given two iconic rap lyrics involving numbers to solve the given equation. She slayed. This question is about women committing murders. My first job. You'll be provided with an artist's job before they made it in the music industry and guess who that artist is. And finally, potpourri. This is our music trivia category. Wow, amazing. I love the way that cities looks with the T's like that. I kind of like it too. You know what I Toronto. mean? <laughs> Toronto. Toronto's gonna be in there. Well, you get to go first. Toledo. Nope, that only has one. Oh, it doesn't matter, shit. just, just. All right, it's your guess then? What? I'm gonna, I got it. I've seen that before for five. Legacies. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Legacies. Legacies. That could be anything. That could be sports related. That could be non-sports related. It could be sports adjacent. It could be about legs. Be a show about legs, legacies. Oh, I I just don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no, thanks. This is the Vampire Diaries. Oh, I would have never said that. Yeah, neither. <laughs> I was so close to not saying anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I would have said everything else before that. I was gonna say Ted Lasso. Legacies doesn't say whatever. Whatever. Let's go. She slayed for two. Yolanda Saldivar was the president of this majorly influential Latin artist fan club but shot her upon allegations of embezzlement. Oh, I know it. It's like, uh, it's like, some, it's like a name. It's like one name. I might just guess. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna guess after you if you get it wrong, so it'll even out. Riley. Is it Selena? That is correct. That's yes. what I was gonna say. Yeah, Dude, nice. Graydon. Selena. What? That is also correct. Let's go. <laughs> I hinted you there. We should both get the point. That's not how this game works at all. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you wanted to switch it up or something. You know what? Let's compromise. You don't lose any points. For real? Yeah. Dude, if you had a helmet on, I'd headbutt you. <laughs> Let's go with cities for one, please. The football team in this city took its name as a logo from the U.S. Steel Corporation. Graydon. Schittsburg. <laughs> Schittsburg, Pennsylvania. It's Pittsburgh, but that is correct. Yeah. Schittsburg has two T's in it, too. <laughs> ah, I love you, Mike. Who's Mike? Mike Tomlin. Oh, yeah, he's good. That's my dude. I'm a Browns fan, but I like Mike Tomlin. He wears a chain and he's cool. Great coach. Back in my control. Let's go with she slayed for five. According to the New Testament and Book of Mark, it's the woman seen here holding the head of John the Baptist on a platter. Oh, you're the Bible guy. Yeah, kind of forgot a lot of that stuff on purpose. <laughs> I'm trying to live more of like a rebel lifestyle and it's not really cool to know stuff about the Bible. So I don't even know who John the Baptist is, honestly. I mean, this has gotta be the first woman to get some head. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh at my own jokes all day. I'm gonna do it. She was the first woman to get head. Yeah. Thanks. I'm gonna sit this one out. You wanna talk about anything in the meantime? No, okay. not, not yet. Uh, no answers from us. This is Salem, 
Salome. <laughs> Salome, Salome. <laughs> Bring that dude's head home. All right, on to the next. Let's keep getting them wrong here. Let's go. My first job for four. This rapper has always worked around music, shouting out his first job at his grandpa's record store on his 2014 album, These Days. These days, I'm I ain't got it all, things, things above, above me. Man, we are really showing our prowess today. I can picture the album cover. Really? Yeah. I cannot. The only These Days I know is Jackson Brown. Uh, Do you want me to guess? No. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. I don't think I want to. Mm, don't. Okay. It's kind of the name of the game. I should know this, but it's blanking on me. What is it? This is Absol. I was going to say Absol. I swear to shit I was, dude. Because <laughs> he's got that song. It's a great song. But I didn't think the album was named that. I couldn't remember if it was Schoolboy Q or Absol. I just thought to myself, no way Absol's in this game. <laughs> That's what I thought. Can we redo it and I get it right? Why would we do that? I don't know. So I look better? Look better than I am now? Yeah, sure. I mean, if you want to. All right. Graydon. Absol. Fuck off. <laughs> I thought it was a good guess. Yeah, yeah, I did too. Yeah, especially since it's like we knew it was right. Right. Yeah. I thought for sure he'd say correct. He'd say yeah, that's correct. But yeah, yeah, no, he told you to fuck off. Wow. Imagine if Ken snapped one night. Speaking to your mic. Imagine if Ken snapped one night. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to answer. That's not a microphone. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. I'm sorry, you're hilarious. Over. Correct. What? Correct. What's yeah. correct about it? Nothing. What about Ken? What if he snapped one night? No, if he was just like, fuck, you guys are fucking idiots. I want 70 shows in a row. See, that's the good thing about Jeopardy being a classic show. A lot of other shows would be tempted to have that happen as even like a scripted thing. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, never. Jeopardy would never break the mold because they know what they have is yeah. longevity. It'll go for 99 years. Think about how viral that would be, though, if huh. Ken just absolutely snapped. Security has to escort him off stage. <laughs> <laughs> Who wagers 200? <laughs> Where's that gonna get you, Carol? <laughs> All right, come on. We gotta, we gotta do something here. Let's go. Puppery for one. The Septet became the first K-pop group to debut number one on the Billboard 200 in 2022. Riley. BTS. That is correct. Yep. It hurts more when you knew it, too. If I didn't know it, I wouldn't care. But I knew that shit, too. One of them's in the military right now? Yeah. <laughs> Not a good look. They have to. <laughs> <laughs> they literally have to. Yikes. I guess. It'd be yeah. way more badass if you didn't, you know? What? It'd be more badass if they didn't go to the military. Dude, I just don't think they had a choice. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Me or? Them. Okay. Is that what they do over there? I don't think, I don't know what they do. That's, I, maybe. I don't know. Captain. <laughs> Let's do I've seen that before for one. Young Sheldon. Riley. Little Bang Bang Theory. That is correct. I Duh. Thought, I thought you said Little Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a badass name for a SoundCloud rapper if it was 2016. <laughs> I think that's what they should have named Young Sheldon. Little Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, rap math for one, please. How old Jack Carlos girl is but telling him he's still a baby, plus how Kanye keeps it like the Romans. Graydon. 123? That is incorrect. Shit. Riley. 328. That is correct. She 28 telling me I'm still a baby and I keep it 300 like the Romans, which is hilarious because that movie's about Spartans. <laughs> Who were Greek. <laughs> kind of Greek. They were like gay freaks on an island. They were, man. They were, There were no ladies on that island and it was well documented that they liked corking and storking each other. <laughs> Can't stork each other. What? Gay guys can't stork each other. Oh, really? Yeah. You can't reproduce. Stork. <laughs> you can cork. For and sure. cork away, boys. <laughs> yeah, please. Hey. Thank you. More power to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> but you can't stork. And that's okay. And I mean, unless, of course, we're talking about people who are not cis. Potentially. Given but, the virality of the of the wad. As well as the, the, the potency of the eggs. Yeah. And, yeah mm -hmm. The like and the here withouts and yeah. the wherewithal. <laughs> <Where's>, but... <laughs> Yeah. Two cis men. <laughs> Can't start. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do cities for two. This city somewhere in the Carolinas holds the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Graydon. Charlotte? That is correct. Vroom. Fire up your engines, boys. Was somewhere in the Carolinas there just because you guys didn't want to research? Yeah. No, it was probably to like leave the options open. Ah, so you get a South Carolina city or right. a North Carolina. Okay, I like it. I like it. I'm just trying to get in the heads of the creators. Why? Because it helps you, <laughs> helps you win the game. I think the more you know about the people making the game, the better you'll do. Okay. Grant, what's your sign? I am a Pisces. Knew it. Love it. Yeah. Love it and knew it. I knew that already. I'm gonna win. Show me cities for five. 
Yes! True Daily Double, Doug. Whoever the fuck the host of this show is, I don't care about any of the creators. I'm here for the fucking cash. How many points I got? That's what I want to wager. Dose. <laughs> Put your buzzer down, Bill. You can't fucking play this round. It was illegal to distill alcohol in this Tennessee city until a whiskey company urged lawmakers to choo-choo down there and fix it in 2013. Trentonville, <laughs> uh, Tristan Town. Uh, it's weird that it's uh, it's the clues for five, and you wager two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is weird. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just it better. Like I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's weird. It's just yeah. an odd situation. I meant to say seven. I guess. I don't. Can you do? I don't know yeah. how. Yeah, I, don't I know guess I've kind of lost the plot too, a little myself. <laughs> right. Tennessee City. Where do they brew that, Jack Daniels? <laughs> choo choo. Is that a clue? Tupperville? Choo Choo. <laughs> Tennessee Choo Choo. I can take as long as I want on this, by the way. There's no shot clock. Don't even bring it up. Take my watch off. I don't even want to look at it. T. Tennessee Town. Tennessee City. Oh, they're all, everybody's looking at me too. Like I'm stupid. They're staring at me. Yeah. Yeah. Memphis. That is incorrect. Man. What is it? This is Chattanooga. Oh, I, yeah, that sounds like a cartoon show. <laughs> can't believe that's a real place. <laughs> you only lose two points, so it actually works out that you didn't understand the betting part of it. Yeah. So. Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a uh, first job for five. Before she was constantly stunning in new selfies, this pop icon was fired from her job at Dunkin' Donuts for not taking her job seriously. Graydon. Madonna. That is correct. Madonna stuns in new selfie. <laughs> I got her in my death pole this year. Really? Yeah. That's not It's you, not cool. You have a death pole? Oh yeah. You don't have one with your work friends? I'm your work friend, I thought. Uh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, you don't have any other job? You don't work in a big corporate building or anything? No, this really? is Really? We're here like 40 hours a week. I work the night shift at Ford for marketing department. Really? We're, yeah, we're cooking up schemes. We just got the license to New York, New York, the next campaign. You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ford. It's Ford. Something like that. I don't know. We're still <laughs> still kind of throwing ideas at the wall, but. Okay. And you've got a death pole with your Ford coworkers. Yeah, they're sickos. Bunch of sick fucks. Who else is on your, on your death pole? You don't want to know. No, I do. Really? Yeah. Ugh, King Charles. Oh. I got him before the cancer, too. Okay. Really strong pull. Anybody got Roker? Okay. Yeah, Rhonda does. I have a feeling. I have a feeling about Al. Uh, enough of this dark shit. Yeah. Five to five. I tied it up. Madonna's hot. Still, and very old. All right. <laughs> Let's go with my first job for three. If you had to renew your driver's license in 2010's New Jersey, Ashley Frangipani, better known by this artist's name, may have taken your photo. Ashley Frangipani. <laughs> I'm from Jersey. Okay, a lot of people fucking hate it here. They call it the armpit of America. It's a great place to grow up. Tonight's special is a uh, grated goat cheese over a frangipani bed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Why would I know this shit? Yeah, I don't know. Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> I don't know his real name, so I'm going to throw in the towel on this. Me too. This is Halsey. Oh, gross. <laughs> I did know she was from Jersey. That is messed up. You ever seen the video of her in the mall singing? Oh my God, have I. It's the background on my PC. <laughs> the video? <is>? Yeah. <laughs> A screen grab from it. Okay. A screen grabbed something from it. My favorite scene. Scene? I took a screen grab from my favorite Halsey singing at the mall video. And now it's my screen saver on my PC. Okay. To say nothing of her talent now, because I think she makes good music. The old videos of her singing in the mall, eh, not so good. Hey man, we all got a journey, dog, and that's what makes it all, that makes, makes it all right. Shit. There's videos of me doing bits in the mall from like 2009. Honestly, some of my best work, so. I've been watching a bunch of Love Island All-Stars recently. Yeah. It's like, you know, UK. Some monsters and, on there. Right, but <laughs> I found out like doing bits in UK slang is like foreplay. Ugh. Giving each other blowies and hand jobs. Oh, just doing a bit. Like, like a oh, bit of sex. Oh, they were doing bits. Ew. I heard who who's been doing bits in the bed over there. No way. Yeah. And so bits I was like, I was like, what the fuck? So you and I have been doing bits for years. <laughs> oh, I would never foreplay with you. Bits bracket. Oh, <laughs> see what we've done. It's like a cock sucking bracket. <laughs> Our Scottish fan base is so confused. Probably they think we're sixty nining. Yeah, that's messed up. Isn't that crazy? Oh well, I never liked them anyway. Who? Scottish people. Oh, what? Or English people, really, for that matter. Dude, Welsh you, people. You can't pick Irish. Whole... God, don't even get me started. I like Northern Ireland. 
I don't really like the rest. You can't pick whole countries to not like. That's not really. Yeah, that's that's. I've what, seen so many people do that. I mean, yeah, but it's xenophobic, <laughs> racist. Oh. Yeah, it's not. But I'm Anglo, dude. You can't. Do I that. hate the Brits. I don't say stuff like that. And the Welsh and the Scottish and mostly the Irish. <laughs> Brits bracket. <laughs> Hairstyles wins again! <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I was just kidding about that stuff. I just got this bad itch. <laughs> <laughs> she slayed for one. Recently released from prison after eight years, this woman developed a plan to kill her abusive mother with a boy she met online. Riley. GRB. That is correct. Yep. You gotta say it. You're supposed to ask. I'm what, not you saying the first name. Not saying the first name. That's her name. It's not a word that I want to say. What's her boyfriend call her? Mama? <laughs> that boyfriend. Be her up. boyfriend can only call her once a day. Yeah. So she got a new boyfriend now too, right? Oh yeah, she got a new boyfriend. And she says yeah. he lays that thing down every night of the week, which is pretty impressive. Oh, to be young again, or I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. know how old she is. It's still up for debate. But let's do potpourri for two, please. This English DJ held a free concert called Big Beach Boutique Two. In 2002, expecting 60,000 fans, 250,000 attended. Graydon. Is it Fat Boy Slim? That is correct. Wow, really? Shove it in your ass. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Fat Boy Slim. Praise you like I should. He was sick, dude. And to be part of the early 2000s DJ culture in the UK, I love people from over there, dude. <laughs> Fat Boy Slim's music's electric. <laughs> The music video for Praise You by Fatboy Slim, by the way, is so strange mm -hmm. and campy and awesome. You should check it out. She slayed for three. 22 years after its original release, this song by Sophie Ellis Bexter found itself at number 51 on Billboard's Hot 100 in January of this year. Graydon. If you think you're getting away, I will prove you wrong. It's murder on the dance floor. <laughs> that is correct. Can I do the thing? Can I do the Barry Keegan thing? Well, keep it YouTube safe, but yeah. Uh oh. I don't know how I'd do it then. Yeah. But he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like running around the house. Yeah. Dicks flopping everywhere. Act like a grave real quick. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hump you. <laughs> well, we're doing bits. <laughs> <laughs> Act like a bathtub drain real quick. <laughs> All right. Spoiler alert. He gets naked and drinks cum. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. She slayed for four. Candy and Britt follow Alien into a shootout, killing his rival drug dealer in the final scene of this Harmony Corinne movie. Riley. Gummo. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one I've heard of. What? It's Spring Breakers. Oh, yeah. That is correct. You're thinking of the incest scene. I honestly, That's from Gummo. I honestly didn't even read the rest of that. I read the Harmony Corinne part and said, <laughs> you were Gummo. Gummo. <laughs> Could have been Trash Humpers, too. Yeah, I know. That's a Could've good one. Could have been a lot of movies. That, you know, five? Well, five. Yeah, yeah, a couple movies. Another Brit in a movie. <laughs> Probably hate that one, huh? Oh, I love movies. Um, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> All right. She slayed for six. <laughs> nope. Oh, shit. Show me. I've seen that before for four. Corey in the house. What the? <laughs> Riley. That is so Raven. That is correct. <laughs> what? Corey in the house. That was a spinoff? Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen either. <laughs> yeah. Corey Baxter, which is Raven Baxter's younger brother. Yeah. Who then moves to the White House with his dad. Because <laughs> his dad becomes the president chef. Yeah. Oh, no problems there. What? What do you mean? No. <laughs> what do you mean? No problems. There? That all adds up. <laughs> that's, all, that's all. That's all. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Check, that checks out. That's why he would move to the White House. You think the president's chef's son <laughs> lives in the White House? Yes. Yeah, that makes sense, Disney. <laughs> what the fuck? Absolutely. Let me guess. In that, so Raven, she could like see the future or something. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. I'm so glad televisions changed for the better. Rat math for three. Where Azalea Banks was on the Uptown A, minus who Travis Scott says, you better watch for round my town, you might get killed on Can't Say. 10, 10 something. Honestly, I just like gave up. It's the math. Yeah, Why do not, we have yeah, to do math? It's not the rap part. It's like, I could I love figure rap. it out. Yeah, I could figure it out. The math part, I don't care. Ugh. I left school for a reason. Oh, totally, dude. Because I graduated. No more left to do. I got yeah. the degree and then like, what else, you know? And I got your degree after that. Oh, my deodorant? Yeah. Yeah, that's not the same. I was talking about... <laughs> <laughs> Went to school for five years for this gel stick. 
<laughs> Whatever, dude. What's the answer, Grant? 200. Oh. Yeah, 212. Whatever. And then 12 better what? Yeah, okay, because it's cops. Yeah, yeah, totally get it. 10. Whatever. Same difference. Boom. Still your board. <laughs> uh, let's do my first job for one. This rapper left his job as a security guard after a month. He stated on his debut album that he was inspired by all my friends to stage a robbery the third Saturday I clocked in. Graydon. Is this T Grizzly? That is incorrect. Oh, sorry. Riley. Kendrick Lamar. That is correct. Fuck, man. T Grizzly's like Detroit's Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> is he? Mm -hmm. They both stream? Kendrick does not stream. Really? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Baby Keem used to. BB Keem? Baby Keem used to make like Minecraft and FIFA videos. Wow. It's a lot like Quedeca if you think about it. <laughs> sorry I got that one wrong, man. Why are you sorry to me? I won't let you down. 15 to 7. Fuck. You're winning. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first job for two, please. This New York born rapper probably fell out of place working at a Manhattan Amish market before she dropped out of college and became a stripper. Graydon. Cardi B. That is correct. A Manhattan Amish market. That sounds like oxymoronic. What are the Amish doing in Manhattan? Oh, don't look at the TVs. <laughs> they go through Times Square with what, blinders on? Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? How is there an Amish market? What do they take the subway? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe they just send their overpriced furniture into the city to get sold. That then, is probably what it is. And they're probably yeah. upstate <laughs> sitting on a stack of cash. They don't even sit on their own couches. They sit on the money they make <laughs> off that expensive ass furniture. And an Amish boy would straight up run away if he saw all that ass. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Even once. He'd be like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck well, this I'm already shit. out. I'm yeah. in Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do cities for four. Beating the rain and running into a jazz club in the late 1940s in this city meant you may have seen Ray Charles kicking it with Quincy Jones. Graydon. Shit, I guess I don't really know now. Uh, Manhattan? That is incorrect. Yeah, that's a city. <laughs> yeah, that's a borough. Yeah. Joe Burrow. <laughs> really got to prove himself this year. I just saw jazz and I clicked the button. Low key. That was my logic there. I was yeah. like, I'll know this. Well, I can really take my time with this then. Can I guess again? Nope. Because I had an original guess, but then the rain threw me off. <clears throat> oh. I don't know, fucking Cheltenham? What? Cheltenham could be. Cheltenham. <laughs> yeah, it's outside of Philly. Oh. Guess it. You think it is Atlanta? I do. You can't tell if you're being serious. Ray Charles has the song Georgia. I think Quincy's from the South. Okay. Go. Oh. Riley. Atlanta. That is incorrect. Yes. <laughs> Fucking dick. The reason I didn't guess it is because it don't rain much down there. Does it? I don't know. It's Seattle. It's Seattle. It's Seattle. <laughs> Chill. Rainy Seattle. God damn rain. It. The rain. <laughs> the rain. The rain. Riley. Uh, Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> I was banging the thing on my head. I didn't mean to guess again. <laughs> What's the answer? Seattle. Really, yeah. Go Mariners. And and you could and you could have seen Kurt Cobain if you stayed there for fifty more years. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go potpourri for four. Baby Father is the side project of this legendary UK artist. Grimes. Grimes is not from the UK. She's from Canada. I thought it was like their whole rap genre. That's different. I'm not gonna guess, even though I love England. I'll also not guess. This is Dean Blunt. Mm. Who the fuck is Dean Blunt? Yeah, beautiful. That's James Blunt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is Dean Blunt like a crooning pothead? I don't know. I'm really <laughs> reaching for jokes there. Lean Blunt. <laughs> Shout out Dean Blunt, man. Give me potpourri for five. Luther Vandross was discovered by this rock musician, someone he said started his career flat out. Ooh, Vandross was launched by a rock star? This seems like something you should know. I know, I almost clicked it right away as I saw Luther. Yeah. I got so excited. This house is not a home. Well, I definitely don't know. I want to say Mick Jagger, just because that seems funny. Kind of seems right, too. Don't do it to me. Don't I'm not doing me. anything. Don't masturbate me into getting this question wrong. I'm just doing bits. I'm just doing bits. <laughs> That's it. I'm not going to guess either. This is David Bowie. Yeah, that David. makes sense. Shout out David Bowie for launching Luther Vandross's career. Didn't know that. Neither did I. Let's do cities for three. Apply to the American Cowboy College and get a double major in wrangling and horsemanship in this Arizona city. Graydon. Scottsdale. That is correct. Damn it. Almost said Flagstaff. <laughs> I, I was thinking I was like Tucson. Flagstaff. Phoenix. <laughs> I was really, really trying, but Scottsdale apparently got a lot of single white mothers in their 40s. Who said that? Out on the town. <laughs> Who said that? Barstool Sports said it. What? No, they didn't. 
Whatever, dude. They said it's a uh, home of the wasps. I'm learning a lot of new lingo from Barstool. That's good, it's man. Nice wasp, white ass single parent. Is it Milf City? Some people call it that. I feel like you got that wrong. Wasp is like, eh. I'm not even gonna. I'm, I'm not pretty gonna... sure it's. I'm pretty sure white ass single parent. No. Check Barstool afterwards. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Look it up on Barstool. <laughs> I'm going to stay away from that math shit, man. Give me rap math for five. What Easy e was cruising down the street in when he was jocking the freaks, clocking the dough, plus how old Prodigy of Mob Deep was, but his mind is old when they remixed Shook Ones. <laughs> Graydon. Let's go with 83. That is correct. Wow. I'm 19, but my mind is old. I knew that one. Yeah. I just didn't know the other. Cruising down the street in my 6 foe. Yeah. Okay. Jocking them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Rest in peace, easy. And Prodigy. Popery for three. This Radiohead member has also composed the score for several Paul Thomas Anderson films. There will be blood and phantom thread included. Riley. Johnny Greenwood. That is correct. <laughs> Greenwood. <laughs> I've, 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 I've never seen Phantom Thread. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't know if my personality will convince you, but I bet this Greenwood. Oh damn, girl, you are rich. <laughs> hand him a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you're rich in the Hannah Montana. Damn, fuck man, you got a lot of bread. Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah, dude's richer than Corey Banks. <laughs> okay. Corey Baxter. Corey Baxter. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. He's Corey in the house. And that dude's rich. His dad's the chef for the president. Ah. Is your idea of a rich person like a just a Disney Channel character? What? They're rich as shit. They're handing out dough over there. I guess. Let's see. You got uh, twins. Yeah. Zach and Cody. They're rich as fuck. Well, they live in a hotel. They make <laughs> double money. <laughs> they live in a hotel. I don't think they're rich. They literally double up on cash because they're twins. That's not how And they works. save money because all the BOGOs they can get by just wearing the same clothes. It's clear that you're not paying attention to the show. Oh, Zach no, has much more of a camo, fire, long sleeve shirt under a short sleeve shirt. Sick. Edgier aesthetic. And Cody's kind of like, he's like a, he's a cool dork. Hell yeah. So- love those guys obviously they don't buy bogos on their clothes otherwise they'd have the same style which would be confusing for viewers weren't they birth birth like 40 in that show too what weren't they both like 40 years old in that show no and they're just cast as children <laughs> absolutely not for real no they're not even 40 now the actors shit. they're not tv will age you man they look old as shit no tim's got them in the death pole you got a bogo on them yeah you got both cole and dylan sprouse are in the death pole tim's a sick fuck dude Sick, sick man. The odds have to be crazy on that. I yeah. imagine he'll walk away rich if they die. <laughs> yeah, big time. All right, good job, Johnny Greenwood, on those movies. Let's do I've seen that before for two. Frazier. Riley. Cheers. That is correct. Cheers is awesome. I didn't know Frazier was a spinoff. Yeah, I found that out kind of recently. Did they go to the bar? I don't know. I, don't, I, never, I watched a little bit of Frazier growing up, but Frazier was a character in Cheers. Nice. Played by a guy with a girl name. Forget his name. Mitzi. No. Rebecca. That's not. Evangeline. I'm going to look it up on Barstool really quick. That's cool. <laughs> Please, yeah, sure. Can I Barstool it? I've seen that before for three. Teen Mom. Riley. Wasn't it just renamed, but I'm uh, 16 and pregnant? That is correct. Okay. Fuck, man, I would have said that. I think they just rebranded to Teen Mom. Right, and I think even on 16 and pregnant, a lot of them were like 40. <laughs> That's how TV works, man. They pitch you <laughs> no. someone who's a lot older, and then they just sell them as teens. That's not that's how just, all movies and TV work. But this was a real show about pe like it was a Sydney Sweeney was thirty eight in Euphoria. <laughs> no, she's not. Yes, yeah, she is. She's, she's on Medicare now. Medicare. A lot of people are on Medicare. Well, she's on the old person one. She's on Medicaid now. Oh, okay. There you <laughs> yeah. go. Even, I, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's not true. She's 62. She's collecting Social Security now. If she was 62, she'd be the oldest player in the league. LeBron's the <laughs> oldest player in the league. Ah, that's true. That's a good point. But she's on IR right now, so she's not technically in the league. Okay. We'll look into it on Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> look it up on the L now for sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you want me to cut that or keep that in? Keep that in. It's hilarious. It's one of the funniest things I've done today. <laughs> Till now. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay. Rat math for two. Soldier Boy's area code and kiss me through the phone. Plus, how old Kendrick Lamar is in the second verse of Fear. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh, oh God. I'm making a necklace. Do your own thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good too. This is six hundred and ninety-five. Sweet. 
Sounds good to me. I believe you guys. <laughs> Let's bring up that last clue, please. Give it to him. How many bitches in the building and ain't none of them hot when T-Pain lights the bartender divided by how many bands Ice Spice had in the in Chanelli, but she's still shaking ass in the deli. <laughs> Something divided by 100. I I think it's too risky for me. I have a guess, but I'm not going to do it. No one's going to guess. This is two. 200 and 100. Okay. 100 bands. You cannot fit 100 bands in Chanel. <laughs> you can't. Wouldn't it? I perceive, and I guess this is kind of the beauty of music is we can interpret it differently, but I perceived it as it was $100,000 worth of Chanel or oh. spent in the Chanel store. Oh, yep. That actually Not makes like $100,000 cash in one Chanel bag. <laughs> yeah. I guess I was imagining it all taking place in the deli, but that makes sense. She goes uptown to do Fifth Avenue style of shopping, yet she can still go to the bodega over in the Bronx and shake that ass in that deli. Yeah, exactly. You know, she crosses those cultures bounds. Yeah, she's now, she has more opportunities. She also has an opportunity to be on this show. Yeah, Ice Spice, open welcome, open invite. Open welcome. <laughs> yeah, open fuck. sesame. I got nervous. You know <laughs> yeah, I, mean? I, I got tell. nervous talking to you. You got nervous. Yeah. Isis, I, I hope you're watching. <laughs> and yeah. uh, Me too, man. Yeah. I've been wanting to join for a long time. No, oh, no, oh. no. Isis is her real name. Right, yeah. which is a beautiful name. Isis, you're welcome on the show anytime. All right, let's get to board two. DJ Grant, please tell us the categories for round two. The categories are the following. In the lab, given the names of elements, spell the producer's name using their abbreviation on the periodic table. Common song title, provided the artist's names, guess the song title they share. Google translated album titles. We've sent album titles through Google Translate. Provided the result, guess which album we translated. She served. Questions about women doing time in prison. Two is better than one. Artists who got their first number one song as a feature, provided that artist guessed the song they were featured on. Triple rhyme time. Subtract the provided sentence into three words that rhyme. She slayed. She served. <laughs> Periodic table one. I mean, gosh, you guys really are banking on us remembering our education. I know all of them. Really? I study them. Yeah, it's a screen saver on my PC at home. How many PCs do you have at home? Six. Two of them don't have screen savers. PC culture has gotten out of hand. <laughs> All right, you're losing, so it's your turn. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Let's do common song title for six. CeeLo Green, Lily Allen. Graydon. Crazy. That is incorrect. Damn it. Riley. Fuck you. That is correct. Gnarls Barkley did crazy. CeeLo Green is the, was the singer of Gnarls Barkley. With Danger Mouse. You don't have to hold the, my, the, the buzzer up. Fuck. <laughs> See? Hey. Let's do Google Translate for two, please. Bury me in a stream of makeup. Riley. Bury me at Makeout Creek, Mitski. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Which is a quote from The Simpsons. Nice job. I'm going to lose. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> two is better than one for two, please. Jack Harlow. Graydon. Churchill Downs. That is incorrect. <laughs> Because that's his song. So Jack Harlow was a feature oh, yeah. Shit, on a right. song that went number one? His first number one, yes. Whatever. I don't know. This is Industry Baby with Lil Nas X. Yeah, that totally, totally forgot it. Great song, though. Uh, let's do She Served for Two. This famous homemaker has joked that she served more time than her close friend Snoop Dogg. Graydon. Oh, my God. What's her name? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember it. But Betty Crocker. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> Riley. Martha Stewart. That is correct. I was between Betty Crocker and Barbara Streisand. Just couldn't, absolutely <laughs> blanked. Pictured her face and she kind of looks like a mix up of those two. Wow, man. Hey, sometimes you forget shit, dog. Yeah, it happens. You know? Sometimes you forget the shit and you die like Elvis. You didn't forget. <laughs> you don't know that? <laughs> you didn't know the man? That's true. I didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> How about triple rhyme time for two? An error occurs on this popular streaming website during the first throw of a baseball game. Riley. Twitch glitch pitch. That is correct. Once it said popular streaming website, all I could think of was Stream East and Sports Surge. And I was like, what rhymes with that? <laughs> Let's get all the categories in the lab for two. Beryllium, nitrogen, yttrium, xenon. Riley. Benny X. That is correct. 
B -b -b Benny and his ex. <laughs> this one doesn't all the way work, right? Well, no, they, they're like close. Oh, it's like, it kind of sounds it out. Yeah. Ah, I like it now. <laughs> I don't like it enough to go back to it though. <laughs> I'm going common song title for four, please. Eminem, Billie Eilish, Riley. Bad guy. That is correct. Berserk. <laughs> Ocean Eyes. <laughs> My Brother Finn. Does he have a song called that? It's coming. I was in the studio with her last night. What happened to Ferb, by the way? Who? <laughs> ASAP Ferb? He hasn't dropped in a long time. <laughs> You're right. What? I wonder where he's at. Uh, let's do common signs. Two. You get it. Keisha Cole. Kendrick Lamar. Ooh, Kendrick and Cole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I should have... Graydon. Humble. That is incorrect. I'm not going to guess. What is love? It's love. Oh, <laughs> oh what is love? Yeah. I see. Yeah, nice. I see it. It's like a Jeopardy joke. Good one. <laughs> yeah, it is I a like, Jeopardy joke. I like that. Everybody got a song called Love. I'll tell you that. Google translated albums for four. Yellow. Graydon. Coldplay. That is incorrect. Damn, man. I just thought it was going to be straight up. <laughs> That's not the name of the album either. I'm How would I know? I hate something. British people. I know. I'll do it. Riley. All is yellow, Cole Bennett. That is incorrect. Okay. Is it Channel Orange? This is blonde. Nah. It's funny that I thought of the other Franco. I, knew, I thought it was just like, like a color. Yeah. How about she served for six? No goddamn way. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> How much do I got? 25. I'm going to wager one. Not how you fucking play the game. I'm not dude. good at this category. It's not how you fucking play the game, dude. Buck up, champ. Fine. I'll wait your two, please. Ah, we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> this woman went from the youngest female billionaire to an 11 year prison sentence over massive fraud at her company, Theranos. Kylie Jenner. I don't, I feel like, oh, no. There's no way. <laughs> when would she have served 11 years? Um, <laughs> been serving for a lot longer than 11 years. What is she, 61 now? What? I mean, she's been serving for five decades. <laughs> Kylie Jenner? Or did you say Kendall? I forget which Jenner you said. Does it matter? <laughs> they're both they're, in they're their both 20s. In their Dude, you believe everything Hollywood tells you. It's hilarious. I thought Theranos was the guy from... Here we Avengers go. Avengers yeah. Here we go. It's not even funny. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's her name? Fucking. Uh, it's that blonde lady. I just can't remember her name. I'm going to go with um, Kirk Herb Street. What? That, that is incorrect. <laughs> this is Elizabeth Holmes. That's yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Katie Holmes, criminal sister. Katie Holmes is from Toledo. Shout out Toledo. Let's go. Two is better than one for four. J. Cole. Riley. Call me me at the land end. That is incorrect. Oh no, it's the fucking other one. Graydon. Damn it. Shooter, first person shooter. That is correct. I thought it was the London. I know, we heard you, man. I'm surprised I even got fucking point this round. What's wrong with, come on, don't do that. <laughs> Nobody likes to see you like this. I am starting to set in the perk. <laughs> I took a perk in the first round because I tore my groin. Thought it would help in the second half. How'd you tear your groin? No, I'm high as shit. How'd you tear your groin? What? How did you tear your groin? I don't know. <laughs> Moving or something? There wasn't like an incident? No. Did it uh, halfway through the first round. Didn't even notice. Yeah, thank you. Didn't notice you taking the perk either. We've been sitting oh. here the whole time. Did it the upside down way. I don't want to. Well, let's go. She served for 10. Alexis Haynes was the most notable of the group of Calabasas teens referred to as this who robbed about $3 million worth of merchandise from celebrity homes in 2009. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, something bandits. The Valley Girl Bandits. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> yeah, something like that. it's gonna be some shit like that. Robbing ass hoes. <laughs> I'm not gonna guess, and I wish I knew this one. Yeah, I don't know it. This is the Bling Ring. Bling Ring. Boo. <laughs> they were saying bling in 2009, though, so. Yeah, it was bling era rap. Let's go with In the Lab for 10. Radium, iodine, carbon, Potassium, ruthenum, boron, indium. Graydon. Rick Rubin? That is correct. Now I'm feeling a little more back in the game. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm up by two. Great job on that one, by the way. Thanks, brother. Um, Let's go in the lab for eight. Zirconium's atomic number. This is a DJ, and it's a number. <laughs> Why would I know a number? I thought this was about letters and elements. Graydon. 40? That is correct. Fuck this shit, bro. It's like against the rules. It like didn't make any, whatever. It's just bullshit. It's a number though, bro. You don't know your pee table. Shit, I had a pee on you on a table. I'll put you on a table and take a big old pee on you. 
<laughs> my pee's been coming out thick recently. Thick water. It's the consistency of my pee. <laughs> Good for you. It's coming out. Yeah. Sometimes I'll pee and it's like when you let the spit go from your mouth and it doesn't even get to the toilet bowl. It'll be like a half stream just hanging there. I got to shake it off. <laughs> this is what's so fucked up about our relationship <laughs> is I tell you that I'm insecure about how thin my pee's been recently. <laughs> and then you make up some shit about how your pee's super thick and awesome and everybody I'm loves your pee. not making it up, dude. I'll send you a picture later. Stop sending me the pictures of stuff. <laughs> I can tell it's not you. Yeah. You're just good at barstool. You have six PCs at home. <laughs> In the lab for six. Yttrium, oxygen, uranium, nitrogen, germanium, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. Riley. Young Chop. That is correct. Chief Keefe's producer who like shot at a DoorDasher or something. So what? I, I don't know. It's just a viral video that I remember from a couple years ago. It's a bad look. I let my gun slip off in an Uber one time. Cannot get a ride anymore. You let your gun slip off? Uh, I rolled the window down and I fired at someone. That's not late. It slipped. Yeah, I like was, I was fucked up. And I saw someone that I hated, an op. And I rolled my back window down and I let one go at him. Yeah, and do you- Hit him too. And you can't get a ride anymore. Are you upset with the company? Because that feels like- Well, I'm upset with the driver who gave me a bad rider rating. I didn't do anything to them. Yeah, but you can understand why they wouldn't want somebody shooting at someone out of their car. I cannot. That's the problem. That That's what makes me upset. So I'm hung up there. That's so... I don't understand. Neither do I. No, I... <laughs> I, was, I wasn't a bother. That is a bother. I mean, it's it not... a silencer. It, literally, I rolled the window and I went... Someone yeah. went, oh, fuck. <laughs> so you, you said, hit, did you, you just, you hit that. And I said, yeah, keep going. Th yeah, but th like that's their car with their license plate. Whatever. Some Ubers rent their cars. I guess. Yeah. But that doesn't really like. I don't get it either, dude. I'm saying that's why I'm upset. No, I, <laughs> I don't get your side of it. I kind of side with the driver and the company here. I hadn't seen the guy in months. Been waiting to catch him out. Lacking. Now you're going to shoot the Uber driver? No, I'm saying I was I, I was excited to see the person that I shot because I hadn't seen him in months and I was waiting for that to catch them lacking. So you understand that, right? No, I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't think you should be shooting anybody. This guy's got no ops. <laughs> Even if I did, I wouldn't shoot him. Oh, really? No. How do you squash beef? Conversation. Uh, I ain't talking <laughs> to that crazy motherfucker. Or separation. The dude ate my dog. All right, well, now there's a conversation to be had. Okay. I understand there's two sides to every story. All right. Wait, you don't have a dog. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, let's do two better than one for six. Kid Cuddy. <laughs> I don't know what song he was on that was a number one. Probably something with Kanye. Could have been Kanye or it could have been someone else. Or Oh, I know it. Riley. Is it uh, the Scots? That is correct. I was going to guess highest in the room. Good thing I didn't. Yeah, he's not on that song. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> I'd rather be famous instead. Doja. A triple rhyme time for four. The director of Get Out took your lunch away from you. Riley. Peel, steal your meal. <laughs> that is correct. I couldn't think of his name. I'm blanking on celebrities today. Yeah, names. Yeah, names are fucking me up. Triple rhyme time for six. Just some guy who doesn't want to kiss after the 10th date and who won't pay for dinner. What the fuck? This one's different. Guy? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I can't really figure it out. Graydon. Dude, prude, and rude? That is correct. Wow, you got it. <laughs> yes! I had prude, and then I was like, what? What? I was thinking creep, cheap. I was all over the board, and then I, got, I somehow got there. I actually got there with just some guy. I was like, dude. <laughs> they like clicked with that word just some guy that's yeah. a dude yeah <laughs> i was like prude and then i thought about nude and then i started thinking about the other, yeah, other stuff, stuff and balls like, and stuff and doing bits and stuff <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> i'm getting rid of my balls i'm gonna keep them like uh anatomically what like they'll be there but i'm getting plastic surgery so they're inside of me i think aesthetically it'll just be more pleasing if i just had the rod don't you? You've had that thought. I have had that. Like when I was a kid, yeah. I used to think that. I'd be like, why do we got to have these? Right. I'm going to get them put inside so of me. So it's just a rod. Yeah. Even though they're technically supposed to be outside of you for the temperature's sake. Technically, they become ovaries when you put them inside as well. That's fine. So it kind of works as a vasectomy too, because it'll actually cook up all my sperms because it'll be in my internal temperature, which is too high for them. So it's like a, it's a twofer in my mind. I remember I got hit so hard in football practice. One went up there for a few days. Two of them. Oh, God, both days. <laughs> yeah. How long? It, like 10 minutes. Because oh! my, my coach came over, picked me up by my belt, and dropped me like that onto the ground. They, You heard the pop. Everybody <laughs> no, heard they it. did not. Everybody heard it. That's awesome. Wow, your balls physically dropped. 
you got dropped and your balls dropped. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's more of a horizontal ball drop, though, which I think they should try out for New Year's <laughs> yeah, next year. Kind of <laughs> drive the subway yeah. into a building or something. Yeah. We're going to have to get there anyway. Let's do in the lab for four. Sulfur, oxygen, uranium, thorium, hydrogen, sulfur, iodine, dysprosium. Graydon. South side? That is correct. South side on the track, yeah. Yeah, you don't get points for doing that. I don't even care about points anymore. Really? Oh, it's tied? Yep. Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) I do. I killed that category, I just wanna say that. I did very well in In The Lab. Sure, you don't have to announce it, I mean. I did very well in that category. (laughs) You do better in other categories. Grant, let's get common song, no. (laughs) Oh yeah, shit, I was just gonna roll (laughs) with it. I was like, okay, whatever you want, man. (laughs) Um, Let's go cop, so let's go she served for four. This Netflix show about life in a woman's prison was its most watched original series until 2016. Graydon. Orange is the New Black. That is correct. Never seen an episode. (laughs) I was going to guess something so different. No way. You were mad that you didn't buzz in. I know. I was mad that I didn't buzz in. Like, you had faster hands than me. (laughs) And I would have been embarrassed. (laughs) What were you going to guess? It doesn't even worry about it. I want to know. You can be out there. I was going to guess Amanda Knox. (laughs) The Amanda Knox story. Amanda, 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 Amanda show. That's not. That's that's not. (laughs) What was the Amanda show? (laughs) Bring out the handsome lobster. She might have killed her roommate. <laughs> she served for eight. Roxy Hart and Velma Kelly meet in jail and decide murder can be their claim to fame in this musical. Who the fuck knows musicals? Uh, usually me. Killing girls. Uh, Oklahoma. <laughs> fucking uh, Phantom of the Opera. Oh, they should do Family of the Opera. And it's like a Family Guy, Phantom of the Opera crossover. And Meg's the little uh, monkey with the symbols. And Quagmire could be the Phantom. And oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> family of the opera guy guy what? family guy of the opera phantom guy <laughs> it's like there's a phantom of the opera it's in family guy. so many possibilities this is that not doesn't even really sound like it it's hell just yeah. kind of hell yeah dude uh no thanks on the guessing this is chicago i was gonna say chicago i thought that shit was about something else though yeah i've right. fallen asleep in the first 30 minutes of that movie twice i've fallen asleep in chicago off that good lean a few times i think it's the first musical to win best picture and then cats did it a couple years ago <laughs> two is better than one for ten thames oh fuck i'm gonna lose ten points Graydon. It's the future and drake song and it's called <laughs> i just can't believe this one is the ten point clue this could decide the game right here. I know, and I, I know the song, I don't know the title. Uh, what's it called, You? That is incorrect. You know what, out of respect for the game, gamesmanship, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna abstain. Don't be classy. <laughs> Riley. Wait for you. Ah, I knew you was in there. That is correct. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll wait for you. That would have been big for me. Great tune. Trapping around the world. Emotions flowing like a river. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do common song title for eight, please. Rihanna. Chief Keef, Thai Boy Digital. Eh. <laughs> Eight being sober. <laughs> no, I don't know. Nope, no answers for me. This is Diamonds. <sighs> Good, I was gonna say something else. Oh, Thai Boy Diamonds featuring Young Lean. Great song. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do common song title for 10. Taylor Swift, Deftones, Ken Carson. Whoa. <laughs> Graydon. Cruel Summer. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was a Deftone song, so I just guessed it. Teen X, probably, but not gonna guess. <laughs> this is Change. Ch-ch-ch-changes! Turn and face, face the strange. strange. Facing the strange Notice right how now. I didn't do that? You got a strange face. Notice how I didn't do that? Because I think you're more than strange. You're fucking freakish. Okay. Some people like a freak. <laughs> oh, yeah. How about Google Translate for six? That night was difficult. That night was difficult. Hard night. <laughs> Riley. A hard day's night. That is correct. Oh, God, nice. <laughs> yeah, Beatles. I was already thinking that, but then when you said yeah. that, I was like, well, that's really what it's gotta be. You know? <laughs> what do you think about those guys, by the way? The Beatles. A lot of them are dead. And at least three of them are British. And out of the ones who are alive, it's really only one I like. Who is? I'm not going to say that. They might be watching. Can you imagine if Ringo and Paul are both watching High Mind in different places and they've never talked about it? Yeah, they don't talk to each other anymore, so. But that's just like, that would be really cool, I think. That would be cool. It'd be like a shared interest that they will probably never learn about one another. I wonder if there's any other famous people like that out there. Like the two members of One Direction both watch High Mind. Never talk about it. Don't know. Harry Styles and Liam. 
<laughs> They're both big Diggy fans. It's interesting, I guess. It's not. Uh, uh, you're right. Yeah. yeah, we should move on from it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's interesting. I could tell because you burped and like that's kind of almost like a yawn for you. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> right before I go to bed, I go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Triple rhyme time for eight. Getting your car windows colored a light pastel green in this city, 60 miles north of Detroit. Riley. Mint tint flint. flint. <laughs> nice. That is correct. I was stuck on the pastel green thing. I so was, was like, I. Well, I was like, what color is right that? Right as I figured it out, I was like, please don't get it. Please don't get it. <laughs> Graded. Fuck you, man. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> you don't get to buzz in to say stuff like that. I can buzz in to say whatever I want. Please don't. Okay. Graden. Kamala Harris. <laughs> so I can do whatever I want. It's pronounced Kamala. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Graydon. Kamala Harris. That is correct. Thank you. Co what do you mean correct? <laughs> <sighs> Google Translate 8. Online communication test. For some reason, this I can't do this backwards. Really? I can't. Yeah, it doesn't work for me. Web chat. Riley. A brief inquiry into online relationships? That is correct. 1975. Yeah, I would never heard of that album anyway. <laughs> I'm betting it all in final, by the way. You always say that, and then you usually bet nothing. <laughs> well, wait and see, you know? Mm -hmm. Gotta keep people on their toes. Let's do the rhymes. Oh, cool. Got both of them. How much do I have? 67. 67. What is great enough? 19. I will wager 48. Donkey's wife is looking a lot older with all these wrinkles, especially her posterior. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sagan Dragon Wagon? That is correct. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to have to th remember the name of the dragon. Which I, I remember from the Shrek Rave right. video, we had the answer, but I don't remember it now. Neither did I. And I, my first thought was like, fuck, of course he remembers her name, whatever it is. <laughs> Once I realized it was probably dragon, I felt a lot better about yeah. it. But posterior, it took me a second to remember that that's an ass. Me too. <laughs> I was like, her outside? Yeah. I wish it said derriere. Ugh. <laughs> Derriere is a crazy thing to call the ass, especially for people with lactose intolerance. Isn't it French? Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I was spelling it different. I thought it was like milk farts. <laughs> <laughs> Derriere. Yeah. I don't know. That's gross. Okay. Can't bake a cake without milk. Two's better than one. Chance the Rapper. What? You had a number one song? Riley. I'm the one, yeah. That is correct. Oh, with JB Bzies. And uh, DJ Khaled and Quavo and Loin. I love that song, okay. Yeah, I, it was in the worst songs bracket and it gets stuck in my head and it's just nice. I don't really. That is nice. The oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh <laughs> is annoying. The rest of it's cool though. It's fucked up what happened to Justin Bieber though. What happened to him? I'm not gonna say it online. What? I'm not gonna say it online. It can't be that bad. It's a developing dark story that I don't want to tread into. It's developing? Oh yeah. I saw that he got the Drew House NFL jerseys. Well, that's good. That's not part of the story? No, that's oh. a good thing. Yeah, yeah, it seems good. Yeah. <laughs> seems good. I want one. Bieber, if you're watching, I mean, I don't know if you or Harry or Liam or Lewis or any, you know, if you guys watch, but, you know, if you do and want to send one of those NHL jerseys over, boom. <laughs> I'll send you the Addy. Short for address. <laughs> Learned it on Barstool. Last clue. Let's go. Medville offered. What the hell's Medville? <laughs> Why is that in Google Translate's bag? Medville. That doesn't even seem like a word. It's probably in the title then, because that's something, I feel like city titles and shit, that's how it usually works, right? Medville gift. Exit through the gift shop. Documentary about Banksy. Could be that. I feel like maybe it's something to do with a doctor. It could. That's <laughs> my first thought. Hospital. 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 Yeah, I keep saying that. It might come true. <laughs> Can we go? What? Hospital. Fuck no, I'm not taking you to the hospital. It's so far from here. I don't feel very nice. All right, take yourself, dude. Valet's too expensive there. Hospital. <laughs> I'll call you an ambulance. All right, I'll call you an Uber. <laughs> How many situations do you think it's quicker to get an Uber than the ambulance? Then they, they just did a Mythbusters on that. Really? Yeah. I watched the other day, Mythbusters, Uber versus ambulance. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a myth. <laughs> So I mean, it was pretty subversive. At first, they did the race for an emergency thing, and the Uber won by like 30 seconds, and it was mm -hmm. pretty awesome. And then they crashed them into each other, Uber versus ambulance, like oh, ambulance Mr. Wins. Beast style. Yeah, <laughs> ambulance absolutely destroyed the car. They're usually like V12 tanks almost. Yeah. yeah, they even tried it with a truck, a Ford F-150. No. Destroyed yeah, it. Yeah, doesn't stand a chance. It was like a pop can. Um, I'll just guess for whatever reason. Riley. Live from the dentist office. That is incorrect. Okay. What is it? This is... 
Mad Villainy by Mad Villain. Medville. Medville. Offered. I don't know. Maybe the question mark? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's no question mark when they typed it in. I don't know. It's that. phrased like a question for us. I guess. It's like a Jeopardy thing. Jeopardy. Oh, geez. We've lost What it. shows that the follow up to? Jeopardy spinoff is our show. <laughs> oh. I guess. Hive Mind Jeopardy could have been a question in that. Yeah, it would have been clever. It's hard <laughs> to get inside the brains of the people creating the show. Mm -hmm. Especially because we don't know them in person. Yeah. Let's get the final Jeopardy. All right. Well, here's how it's going to work we're going to get the category. We're going to write down our wagers on a whiteboard. We're going to reveal those only to the camera, not to each other, to make sure we're staying honest. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to get the clue. We're going to hear the original Hive Mind Jeopardy theme song created by Hunter Veers. And once that song is over, we'll have to have our answers written. We'll reveal those. The winner takes all. Category, please. Literature. Ooh, that's what the books, Riley. Okay. I'm a bit of a bookworm myself. Just yes. read a few this, this morning, actually. I thought they just called you a bookworm because you eat the pages. <laughs> well, I eat them when I'm done with them yeah. because I don't want anybody else to get, like, it's kind of mine now. Totally. I don't want anybody else to learn what I just learned. Really taking, digesting the material to a whole new level. I can't poop though. <laughs> Are you just forgetting to? What happened to Elvis, dude? And he died. I guess I haven't really thought about it. Yeah. See? They call me Thesaurus Rex. That's how much I read. It's synonym Toast Crunch. It's my favorite. When I eat the Thesaurus, I call it Synonym Toast Crunch. That's good, man. It took a while to get there, but I'm glad we ended there. I'm a serial- And I'm glad it ended there. Serial- I'm a glad it ended there. I'm glad Serial it ended there. monogamist. What? Mm. That's my wager. <laughs> There's mine. Give us the question. From Pieces to Wait, Once Upon a Time in Southside Queens is a 2005 autobiography by this rapper. I really want that song to blow up on TikTok. Oh, yeah. I feel like if we mobilized everyone to go make a TikTok with that sound, maybe like me when I'm waiting for my fucking smoothie at Earth Cafe or whatever the fuck these people are doing. <laughs> and then it's like that song playing. Or like me when he asks me what I've been listening to lately. What? <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> And then the song plays and, you know, she's like scrolling through oh, Spotify. Yeah, sure. Because like, when people ask you that question, it's like overwhelming the amount of possibilities you could say. What's your favorite movie? And then don't. Tim don't, Burton. Don't, what? That's um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay. Well, Nightmare yeah. After Christmas. Dude, uh, Breakfast Club. It's just an I idea. love the Breakfast Club. It's an idea for oh. TikTok. That's all. I think that's cool. If you guys go and do that, um, I'll double the creator fund money that you make off of it. That seems like a bad idea. I'm going to do it. It's my idea. Thank you. But no, thank you. But it's going to be your money, right? Not like Correct. the company's money. No. I divested. I took all my money out of the company. You divested? Yeah. <laughs> I'm all in on Ford. We got to talk about that. They are a blue chip stock, buddy. And we aren't even on the market. <laughs> all right. You ready? Yep. I put Nas. I also put Nas. Those are both incorrect. Yes. Is it Jay-Z? This is 50 Cent. Ah, yeah. That totally makes sense. Shout out 50. Well, I wagered 113, so I have zero. I wagered nothing. I wrote, I love my mom. <laughs> such a classic plea for like but people do it on oh, Jeopardy all the time God. yeah I know and they look like a fucking dick in yeah. my mind well the time when people choose to do that is when a game is out of hand well it wasn't out of hand well yeah because I didn't realize I was playing with a psychopath <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you said earlier that I was a pussy. No, I didn't. You said you're a pussy because you no, always say that you're no. going to wager it all and you don't. I said for a moment you almost had a pussy because your balls went up inside of you. <laughs> and technically, that's like halfway there. And that's on me. I misunderstood. Yeah. yeah so, okay. <laughs> well, you win then. No, that doesn't feel like winning. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, hey, that might have been my favorite two boards. Oh, were fun. It was so fun. If you have ideas for High Mind Jeopardy categories, send them over to DJ Grant. We are going to link his stuff down in the description. So go send him a message. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. Cope's restock. It's out now. Go get yourself something and come see us on tour. Tickets are available now, but not for long. And lastly, Graydon, would you like to leave these wonderful people some advice to leave or live their lives by? Glory to Grandor or die in, s in sin. <laughs> all right, this has been High Mind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Sorry.
That's all right. I was really holding that one in while you were yapping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be one of Ken Jennings' little wives. He's a little wives? He's got six. No fucking way. He's a Mormon. What's the what's the score? We both lost four there. Dude, it's eleven to three. <laughs> Dick. All right. I didn't mean that. Um. Ooh. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Jellyfish. They're just like you because they they don't have brains. <laughs> I love you, mom. Still. <laughs> <laughs>